My name's Steve Vatel, chief of Mahade Deneban. And I, I've been living there all my life. I was always in the bush with my dad, so I'm not a very townsy person. Like, if I go to Yellowknife, it's too noisy for me. I like the small little secluded place called Nahani Butte. <laughs> and that's where I like home. People should know of, about Nahani Butte is that we're very friendly. We're always willing to help one another out and the mountain features, it changes with the season, so it's very beautiful and unique to see all the different um, colors and seeing the leaves bloom in the spring and seeing the snow on the mountain. The Honey Butte means so many different things to me. It means my family history, it means um, my history and soon to be my son's family history as well, so it's a beautiful place for me to be able to raise my family in Nahani and um, to also show them that our community is strong. It may be small, but we're strong together. Well, it's a, a flying community. We're isolated. Um, during the summer, you can travel by boat on an access winter road. Well, people um, here, that they love going in the bush, like to their camps. Like, the, um, they just gather up their families and that and friends and then they just go out in the bush. The Hain Butte means my family and my friends. It's like where my grandparents uh, lived and I would never want to live anywhere else because of the memory of my grandparents. And I, I still practice some of my grandma, what she taught me. Growing up, I had to help her like cut up meat, and she showed me how to make dry meat, and I'll sit there with her when she sews, so I'd have to sew with her in it. And she's, she's the lady who taught me how to speak my slavey language. So what I said in slavey was, I'm very thankful to be here. Our elders, uh, they taught us a lot about our community and a lot about our traditional values. How to, how to hunt and how to respect the land and the animals and especially our water. It's that traditional knowledge that got them this far to begin with. And that's what I try to teach to my kids, whatever we eat. Whatever we catch, whatever we trap, whatever we hunt, that's all from the land. Like I can go down the river and find some wild onions, some wild potatoes, so everything. Like the berries, we just went hiking yesterday to get some tea leaves. It'd be nice to get everybody back into that to know that kind of a history and what it, there is out there. It's not just the bush, there's a lot of little things to it just to be out here. Everybody's kind and friendly, and there's local places you could go for arts and crafts, and there's a local store, gymnasium. There's fishing, and then they got the mountain across the river, which there's a, there is a hiking trail that's been marked out previous years. If you could get somebody friendly enough to take you out for a boat ride, then you could view the communities river, the South Nahani down to the Liard and up the Liard, and then possibly a couple fishing spots. We welcome people to come to the community, visit the people, get to learn about the history, the land, our culture, and we also have spectacular northern lights. Such a different scenery when you're next to the mountains and have all the aurora borealis. 